Are you filming? Uh-oh, you're going to have to edit this out. Unless it's raw and unedited. And edited. <laughs> blooper, like my video. I'll that's, keep that. That's a blooper right that's there, man. See, if it's my video, I keep the blooper. So yeah. anyway, um, over the years, I've tried many take heel seats. And most of them have come from Europe, the take heel seats that I've got. And every single one of them have turned out to be not true take heel. But uh, several weeks ago, a guy messaged me, privately messaged me. And he says, Joe, I have some true take heel. Would you be interested in some seed? And I know the take heel. I've seen pictures of them. I've even seen videos of them. So these are actually true take heel seats. So I'm going to thank him. And uh, he sent story. them to, well, there's my name right there. He called me Joe Banana. Joe Banana. There's Joe Banana. So we're going to open Joe these up. Joe Banana. And I'm going to send him in return. Where are they from? These are from these are from Take Heels Growing in the States. But they're true Take Heel. What, pro what state? Uh, just beside California. Oh, you're not saying. No, just, okay. Just <laughs> maybe he doesn't want to be known. He, oh. Right? You know, it could be a secret, right? So anyway, oh, look at that pouch. Yeah, but it might be. It's kind of interesting for what state. These ones are growing yeah. in Utah. Okay. okay? Good. That's but good I'm not going to give you the town no. they're growing. So look at the sack you put them in. Oh, my That's goodness. actually pretty cool. Look at that. That is really cool. Little so burlap sack. So today we're going to be germinating these. We're going to put the, we're going to sow them using the baggie method. And this is a really easy way to germinate small amounts of palm seed. And you've seen videos on this channel, Gulf Island Rock, of the baggie method, how to germinate palm seeds easily using a Ziploc baggie, Pro Mix HP or Sunshine Mix 4. So in here I have some nice warm Sunshine Mix 4. Put the uh, the type of palm on there, Trachycarpus Tequil, the date it is the, uh, well, you're probably going to put this on tomorrow, so say the 12th of January, uh, 2021, mm -hmm. and then put where they're from. So, mm -hmm. Trichetarp Carpus Tequil, for you who don't know, are a high elevation palm, uh, native to, well, they can be found at over 8,000 foot in the Himalayan mountains. So, that yeah. is pretty cool. Those are nice, eh? Tequil seed. Mm -hmm. They look like little, and, little beans. And by the way... None of these are going to be for sale. I'm not going to offer any of these for sale. These are for Wendy and Joe's palm wow. How collection. How many is there? There's a lot. So we're going to count them and then I'm going to say, so in return, I'm going to be sending him, whoops, I'm going to mix oh, these up, mix some Trachycarpus. Wow, look at the difference in color. Some, some Trachycarpus Wagnerianus. Right? And these the actually have the skin on them and everything. Isn't that cool? Those are really bluey. They're really, well, here's the Trachycarpus they Waggy. Like blueberries. These are Waggy hybrids, okay, yeah. from Salt Spring Island. So yeah. I harvested them from a, a mature female Wagnerianus palm with male... Fortuna close by. And then Do not drop them put in these there. under the light. Look at the difference in color, right? Wow. There we go. So that's yeah. a waggy hybrid on the left and take heel, take heel on the right. Trekkie Carpus cool. take heel. So um, we're going to put them all into the baggy method. And let's just count them. One, two, three, mm -hmm. uh, five, oh. eight, 70, 72, 74. 76, 78, 80, 82, 84, 85. So there's about 86, because I miscount. Wow. So there's about 86 seeds there. So what you do when you put them in the bag, you still run in there? You got the baggie with the uh, Pro Mix HP in it. HP is high porosity. Make it evenly moist. Make the soil evenly moist. Put the seeds in there like that. And then what you do, you zip it. And you're never going to have to water this again, okay? You only water it once. The soil's moistened. And you just shake it around like so. You see mm -hmm. that? Yeah. Shake it around like that so they're evenly distributed in there. And then put it somewhere warm. So I'm going to put it upstairs in our hallway because up in our hallway it's really warm because warm air rises because of the, um, the because we have a wood stove going all the time. And that's how you... Oh yeah, you can barely even see the seeds no, in there you can easily now. germinate seeds uh, in the baggie method that way. For you who don't have a greenhouse or it's really cold where you are in the winter time, baggy method works every time and you can use it on all different types of palm seeds. But if these are fresh seeds, I'll do an update video on them when they start to germinate. Okay, okay. so stay tuned on this channel Patience. for an update video. So like Patience. I say, Patience. you have to be patient with all palm seeds. Okay, they're not gonna germinate overnight. These could mm -hmm. take three months, they could take yep. four months. Yep. Okay, so stay tuned for a video on uh, germinating uh, Trachycarpus take heel seed. Once they start to sprout, I'm going to show you how to actually remove them yep. from this baggie here on Gulf Island Rock. Okay, so like and subscribe for more videos here. And uh, like I say, stay tuned for a video of me pulling them out of the baggie and putting them up into pots. We'll be mm -hmm. potting them up. And that's going to mm -hmm. be, well, four months from now is going to be February, March, April, May. It could be June.
Yeah. We could be beginning cool. of June when these things come up. Okay. Or hopefully before. So stay tuned, folks. Aloha. And thanks a lot for watching. Cheers. Aloha. Aloha.